Hey guys, Renee here. So today's video is going to be another skincare chat. This one was inspired by recent events. Unfortunately, I had a bit of a skincare snafu at the beginning of the week. So I've been putting a lot of focus on just healing and repairing my skin. And I really wanted to share with you the routine I had and the products I was using because it worked wonders this time. So a few nights ago, I did something that I usually never do in my evening routine, which is I followed an enzyme treatment peel with acid toner. Personally, for my skin, because it's really sensitive, I never combine the two treatments. I always do them on separate evenings, and I really pushed the limits on this one. Usually, immediately after using an acid toner, I get a little bit of a flush, but that goes away really quickly. This time, a few hours later, when I caught my reflection, there were bright red patches right on my most sensitive areas, which are like the apples of my cheeks. And they were like these, you know, it's like a map. This is a typical reaction for me when my skin just goes through too much stress. I had this when I was using prescription Retin-A or Tretinoin, which I don't use anymore because I feel like there are other things that just work better for me right now. But also after certain laser treatments or facials, and also after being exposed to some extreme weather. And for me, the cycle tends to last quite a long time. So it always starts off with the redness, and then the next day, it's the tingling, the heat, the irritation, the burning. And that can last for maybe two or three days sometimes. And then after that, it's just this thickening of the skin where your skin just feels really thick in texture and very leathery and rough. And then there's the tightness, the extreme tightness where any facial expression you make or if you laugh, you feel like your face is just gonna crack. This time around, my skin healed so quickly and I bypassed so many of those stages that I really feel I want to share what I did. So if you're someone who recognizes these symptoms and you want to manage them, hopefully this will really, really help you. So I'm not using any of the products from my usual routine, except for maybe one, but not because they're bad products, it's just that I have a different goal here. Um, right now my goal is to repair, to heal, to soothe and calm my skin. Certainly it's not to brighten or whiten or anti-age or tighten or anything like that. My personal approach during situations like this is to keep it really super simple, not complicated at all. And I want skincare with ingredients that are most similar to or mimic what we already naturally have in our skin. In my moisturizers video, I talk about how those ingredients are the ones that repair and heal your skin the fastest. So the first thing I used on my clean skin is this incredible product from Bioderma. So most of us know Bioderma because they are the ones that pioneered the micellar cleansing water. They really are a well-renowned French pharmaceutical brand for their Dermo cosmetic products. So their products are concerned only with anything that benefits the skin. Anything that's questionable, unnecessary, or of no benefit is eliminated from their formulas. So this superhero product is their Matricium Skin Regeneration Treatment. These come in single-use amples. I use one in the morning and in the evening right on directly cleansed skin. This is a really watery treatment that sinks into your skin within seconds. This treatment is specifically designed to help promote tissue regeneration in damaged skin. This ample contains exclusively elements that are already naturally found in our skin that are really, really important for regeneration. There is absolutely nothing that could possibly hurt or irritate the skin in this formula. And quite frankly, after using this for one day, just twice in one day, by the next day, my skin had healed so much. So after the matricium, the second step is my beloved Hadalabo Gokujun lotion. I don't really need to say a whole lot more about this. I talk about it in so many of my videos, the last one being the moisturizers one. This is such a gentle and effective formula, and it gives my skin exactly what it needs right now, which is a lot of hydration. This is a time when you want as much moisture pulled into your skin as possible, and there's nothing better for that than this. For moisturizer, I use this incredible brand called Physiogel, and these products were recommended to me through my sister-in-law who has the most sensitive red and reactive skin. So this brand is widely available in Asia, but I will leave links if you're interested in checking this out. This brand, the entire focus is on repairing sensitive and dry skin. Every product in this brand is devoted to that one cause. You're not gonna find products for oily skin or anti-aging products or lightening products. There's only one purpose, and that is to heal damaged 
sensitive, reactive skin. So this has a similar approach as Bioderma, which is their products contain lipids that are similar to those that are already found in our skin. So whatever is lacking in our skin that's making it really irritated or dry is replenished. There's also technology in these formulas that mimic the skin's natural structure, which really helps repair and heal and strengthen your skin's barrier and also replenish hydration. So my DIY face mist came in so handy during this time because when you're going through sort of like that burning, tingling phase, you just want something to calm and cool your skin down. This was perfect for that. I couldn't use any of my other face mists during this time because of high water content, alcohol, and fragrance. This on the other hand was such a cooling and calming treatment on my skin. This is 100% aloe vera, glycerin, sea buckthorn oil, and jojoba oil. Jojoba oil because it mimics the natural sebum in our skin, and sea buckthorn because it is fantastic for sensitive skin and for healing burns. So I basically popped this in the fridge and whenever I needed some calming, cooling relief, I would just mist this all over my face. And I did that a lot but it was also just great for keeping the raw, damaged surface of my skin just hydrated constantly. So as a sleeping pack before I go to bed at night, I use this magical Egyptian embalming cream. This stuff really is Egyptian magic. This is made of six ingredients only, and it's so healing on damaged skin. After using this routine for just one day alone, by the next day, my skin, the redness had gone down almost entirely the tingling, the irritation, the burning, no longer there. And I completely seem to bypass that crusty, thick, sort of flaky, roughness, skin rough texture um, phase. So these are the only products that I'm using on my face for the entire week or until I feel like things are back to normal again. So guys, thank you so much for allowing me to share my experience with you, my routine, the products I use when this happens, and what I've done to really effectively heal my skin this time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.